all right good morning everybody just a quick update on my face and my recovery and as you can see most of the bruising's gone there's just a little bit left uh, down in here most of the swelling and bruising is still you know right here on my cheek and right down here at the bottom part of this thing tomorrow will be uh, exactly two weeks from the time I had my reconstructive surgery let me just take my glasses off and if you'll remember two weeks ago you know I look like this well here's what we got nice little uh nice little flap rotation I guess it could have been worse hopefully the uh the swelling goes down that is all like completely numb right now so I'm sure that is going to uh, feel wonderful once that starts healing all right I gotta go get this thing covered back up whoo so you know pretty remarkable uh, how fast you can you can heal from one of these things I've still got a few days of uh, of leave uh, it it still bothers me I'm not gonna lie to you uh, I don't have any feeling in this part of my face right here you know, like I can feel some down here but this is a uh, this is all numb still uh, this part up here there's some nerve or something that keeps firing off right there it uh it's a little sore but i'll be all right and there is a stitch right where is that thing at it there's a stitch right down here by the corner of my eye that i cannot get to come out with all that being said i really can't complain it's it's healing nicely it's actually closed up in a, a lot of big spots I think uh, the scarring uh, I'll for sure have a scar there but I think uh, it's not gonna be a big huge obvious scar but I will most definitely have a scar and now that my my beard is growing back in up here I can actually see I don't know if you can see on camera here you can actually see like how far over they had to move my face because now my like where my sideburn comes down my beard is like all the way out to there so I will have to do some uh, creative shaving in the future this part of my beards uh is a little crooked too and uh, my ear is starting to straighten back out it is still pooched in, but uh, like I said in uh, last week, the bottom part of my ear actually popped loose. And uh, it's starting to heal back up now. All in all, the first, the first few days was pretty horrible. It's getting better day by day. I'm still having a lot of trouble sleeping. But I'll get there. Here in a few more days, when I finally get back to work and start working again, uh, I'll try to get back to normal. And as much as we all want to be the tough guys and act like stuff like this doesn't bother us, it it bothers me. But it's coming along. You got to do what you got to do. The main thing is the cancer is gone. <laughs> That's the main thing. All the rest of this I'll figure out as I go. It's just a one day at a time type deal. The swelling is uh, is easing up on me. The, the skin is starting to loosen up. It's not so tight. It's still kind of tight right back here and I think that's probably why there was a lot of pressure on my ear and as soon as those stitches dissolved 
some of it come loose but it's not like it's not a horrible bad thing back there it's just it was a little bit of blood <laughs> I really want to appreciate all you guys for for checking on me for sticking with me I know we all have a lot of stuff going on in our life right now and uh, that's that's what makes us a little family here on YouTube my sleep patterns all screwed up I'm missing a lot of stuff because I'm either tired or asleep but uh, just know just like you've been here for me I'll be there for you and I will give you a, probably a weekly update until this thing's gone honestly I only want to do maybe one or two more updates about this thing and then just to be completely honest with you after that I don't ever want to talk about it again I may do one uh, next year like a one year deal and that will just be for other folks who have gone through this so they can they can see but if you're out there and you're fixing to go through this this is two weeks and this was a major skin flap that hole was that big on my face and they they pulled all this over to cover it uh, it's not painless I'm definitely not painless and uh, the bruising will freak you out for a minute my whole neck was orange and purple I had a big purple spot under my chin and my face was bruised and my black eyes finally almost gone but uh, it is what it is one day at a time and we'll get there together y'all take care